What's up, everybody? Once again, it's Brand Man Sean, and this video is brought to you by BrandManNetwork.com because I signed myself. And as you can see, I got a very special guest with me, you guys. Some of y'all might remember J.O. He's an artist. Also, he's a teacher, and we'll talk about how the fact that he's able to build and, and grow his artist career while he's teaching. But you might remember him from the AWOL United Masters talk that we had in the exclusive space of brandmannetwork.com. Go check that out if y'all haven't missed it. He had a lot of great insights. Um, JL's just definitely a dope artist, but still a thinker and, and, and thinking his way through the game. And look, here he is. We're going to talk about uh -huh. him blowing up on TikTok because you guys have heard that you need to be on TikTok. He's one of the people who've actually turned that knowledge into not just a motivational moment, but took real action over a period of time and seeing a lot of results. Currently, he has, what, 61K followers on TikTok yeah. Yeah. and counting. And that's been in a pretty short period of time, especially oh. considered to <laughs> Instagram. So let's let's uh, go ahead and get to it, man. Like, and let's start here, JL. Where did you... <sighs> Where did you, no, not where, when did you first decide, look, I'm going to go ahead and try this TikTok thing. Okay, so um, I first decided, like, end of August, I actually, um, I had an idea I wanted to, but I think that was around the time you posted a video on, um, on like, six tips on being on TikTok. Like, I kind of had an idea oh, yeah, I wanted yeah. to do it, but I didn't know how, and those videos were just, like, crucially, like, genius, and I love them, because I watched all oh, five of those videos, so... Shit that that actually helped me like okay this is how i'm gonna tackle this um so i watched those and watched a couple tutorials and then being in a high school class at the time at the end of august um school year just started and a lot of some of my students were talking about tiktok but not like everybody and uh i just threw it out like jokingly like oh should i hop on tiktok and everyone's like oh yeah you should no you wouldn't like you know like everybody like doing that so um yeah i was just like you know what like watch the videos. I was like, okay, so this is how I'm going to tackle this. So I actually spent my first three days just watching TikToks, like watching people mm -hmm. post so I can know like, yeah. okay, let me do my research. What's actually trending? What are people doing here? And then I posted my first video and I only had like two followers because I was telling Instagram like, oh, come follow my, my TikTok. <laughs> nobody was coming. Nobody was coming. So <laughs> nobody's coming. I had two followers and I had 10K on Instagram at the time. So I was like, dang, nobody, nobody wants to go to TikTok, huh? So <laughs> with two followers my first video got 800 views in the first day so um it was just it, just, <laughs> it literally showed like and i think it was the power of like the students just being like oh my gosh my teacher just posted a tiktok and they're yeah. all sharing it so shares yeah, are yeah shares are a crucial thing on tiktok so yeah <laughs> definitely man i mean and that that whole environment i always tell people because there was this one profile that i started on tiktok and literally i was just trying to figure out how to get the thing working and get it to record so by mistake i just recorded like the ceiling light and i was trying to figure out how to delete it couldn't figure out how to delete it mm. and that got 500 views and like three <laughs> three likes i'm like yeah i don't i have no idea what happened <laughs> yeah yeah exactly yeah <laughs> so the funny thing is like those um those videos of just like effortless like clout was all of like august september and recently mm. in the, the most recently they got rid of something that's called share other cancel which is something that all tiktokers kind of became aware of so share other cancel was a hack that like i guess these middle schoolers figured out that if you click share go to other and go to cancel it would read as a share so people could do it 10 times and it'll think it's sharing it so because of this, that'll, that'll anybody the algorithm exactly. So anybody oh. could get clout, and this was like an old thing. So literally, all you had to do was say like, "Yo, share the cancel," or even like what actually still works is when people say, "Oh, slow mo this on Snapchat," or do this because it reads as a share whenever you do that, or like actually sharing. So, like mm. it used to just be like people could just tell sad stories. Like they can just go on there like, "Hey, I just my dog died." Um, share the cancel so I could feel happier. Or like, hey, this, <laughs> like literally, like it was just that crazy. Like August was crazy. Like you'll see like 30,000 follows and 60,000 likes off that. Like, like it's crazy. Wow. So literally like, like people would just be like, oh, this is the person that has the most clout in my high school. Uh, help me out guys, I wanna beat them. That's literally a bunch of videos. That's all I saw. 
I've seen <laughs> some videos where it has been like, yo, that's it. Like they just, yeah. they didn't even yeah. really try, but exactly. somehow it's on my For You page, right? Exactly, yeah. Yeah, <laughs> So that, that recently just ended. So um, like I've, I've been helping some people get on TikTok as well because I got 10K followers in my first two weeks. And then I got 60K or 61K now, and it's been a month and three weeks. So um, I've been helping people. I've helped a friend get to my friend David. He has 5,000 in three weeks. And um, yeah, there's still ways to work around it. Now that there is no share of the cancel, you can't just ask for it. So um, some people <laughs> don't realize that share of the cancel doesn't work anymore. So they're still trying to help you out because people are like, oh, this is how I support you. I'll like it and share of the cancel. I don't need to actually share it. But That's now funny. it's now you actually have to share it, so it gets that read, and it really does. How'd help you realize out. that it didn't work, by the way? Um, people started posting, and you started seeing it. Like people started being like, "Oh, share the cancel's gone," and I noticed like it was right after an update. So I'm assuming that that was what they did. They they got rid of the hack, and then you can <laughs> yeah, you can also check the analytics. And when you share the cancel, it'll show you like if your shares are going up, and it, it, they don't go up anymore. So got you. Yeah, yeah man, that's a. Uh... The, the the beginning of new social media platforms, mm. they're they're full of little bugs like that, right? Yeah. Just because you're bound to when it's not completely evolved and mature, right? Yeah, yeah exactly. <laughs> like, so my second video, I used the bug. I was just like, uh, I said, and I deleted the video, but I was like, hey, my students just told me a trick. It's called the GFOTT. And then I was like, what's that? And it's like the get famous on TikTok. All you got to do is hit share or the cancel and something crazy happens. And I ended the video. So that way people would just hit share or the cancel. That one got 14,000 views on my second video. <laughs> so I was like, all right, I'm already off the bat. Like I'm hitting this hard. So then it became like, okay, instead of just trying to like cheese and beg for followers, like I need to make content that is shareable. Mm -hmm. That was like the crucial thing. Like not just content that's cool or, or I like this, or this is like slightly funny. Like it needs to hit emotions like hard, be mm. funny, like hard, or be sad really hard, or just like very intellectual, something that's gonna make you wanna share. So that's how I approach like my videos now. Like what, is this shareable? Like would someone wanna share this? Would someone random wanna share this? Not just like my family or whatever, would someone random yeah. wanna share this when they see this? And that's how I create videos now. And that's how I hit the For You page and get viral, so. Dope, dope. What was it like? I mean, obviously you did play with a few things when you first got on, you used the bug and, and things like that, but your first experience being on the platform, was it kind of intimidating? Was it weird? Yeah, at first it was like, okay, wow, there's a lot of high schoolers. I saw some people my age, some people older, cause I'm uh, mid twenties, 25 millennial. So like I saw people my age, saw a lot of people older, a lot of people younger, Howie Mandel was already on there. Um, but there wasn't was a lot weird. of, yeah, so it was, <laughs> there wasn't a lot of celebrities, but Howie was on there. Um, he was definitely probably part of like, you know, TikTok's like deal when they get a lot of celebrities on there. So, mm -hmm. uh, <laughs> but uh, yeah, so I was like, I was on there and then many people know, like I'm friends with like um, the professor. So like I was talking to him about it and uh, he was like, yeah, this looks like it's gone. Every, Gary Vee's all like, yeah, everybody hop on, hop on. So I was like, okay, I feel like I'm a little early still. So uh it was intimidating and then after watching your videos i actually really felt confident like oh i know exactly what i'm gonna do like so, not even gonna lie it's like and it's not it's not a plug <laughs> i'm telling you guys like <laughs> you did not tell me to say that like for real like i actually um everybody that like comes and asks me because literally i posted one day i said wow i posted on my instagram i said wow thank you guys for 30k on tiktok this is crazy the next day i had forty five thousand, and literally wow. after that like i got like five, six texts from actual friends like, hey, I'm serious now. Can you help me out? And it's like some people wanted to listen. Some people were just like, oh, I'm not sure. But first thing I did was send your video. It's so like, I'm like, start off with this. And if you can't even watch these and have the time to do a little research, like I'm not going to waste my time yeah. giving you a lot of energy, you know? So Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Got to be serious. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> and of course, that's definitely attracting people. Once they see you moving, they're like, okay, yeah. hold up, hold up, hold up. Why, <laughs> why yeah, is it happening exactly. to him and not exactly. me? Exactly, exactly. <laughs> there was a lot of people, there's a lot of people posting. They're like, yeah, I'm doing this. I'm posting every day because Gary Vee said so or whatever. Like, I'm, mm -hmm. I'm doing this on TikTok. And they've had a TikTok for longer than me. And I'm like, well, you got to post content that's shareable. It's not just about being consistent. Consistency is important, but consistent and shareable is even more important. 
let's go deeper into that for a second because man i've i've had people that listen to me just not even see even seen the videos just like yo i say yo get on tiktok and yeah. then when i say that they will, they'll be like well i tried maybe even before i told them and they'll be like yeah you know i, I posted some videos and they didn't really do anything i i, I couldn't really um, fill it out and i'm like what'd you post and they're like oh yeah i post the promo for my video and i'm like bruh you, you can't start there you can't you, <laughs> yeah. you can't just That's start actually- <laughs> yeah, that's actually crucial. So when first thing I do when I try to help people out, stop posting Instagram stuff, stop posting YouTube stuff on TikTok. Each entire yeah. app has its own entity. Make content for Instagram, make content for YouTube, make content for TikTok. Mm-hmm. A lot of people come to TikTok like, like oh, I know what I'm going to know what I'm gonna post. Like, did it, and you haven't even done those three days of research at all. Like, I'm, I was watching the app. I was seeing what was trending. I was only liking stuff I liked so that only more trending stuff will come up and see like, okay, this is how people shoot. This is how people direct themselves. This is how things look on TikTok. So that way I can match that look. Because first thing I did when I did hop on after those first two videos, I have three tanks of videos. And actually they're still up where I posted just like, my old covers from YouTube and Instagram, I literally just shared the same cover on there and it do, it's not full screen. So, you know, it has a full screen format and I have like these little box videos in there and those mm-hmm. didn't do well. I mean, people were commenting and stuff and like, oh, wow, these are good songs, but it's like, it wasn't viral material at all. And then right mm-hmm. after I hit it with a video like, hey, I was literally in my classroom during my free period. I usually do this during my free period if I get one. And I was just like, hey, um, I'm a substitute teacher. I actually didn't even say words. I wrote this all out on the screen. Like I'm a substitute teacher and I'm stuck in this classroom. Help get me out. <laughs> I was like, I'm actually making music. Like go check it out. I kid you not. That got to like 50,000 views. And then a bunch of people were saying, I'm I, I checking out your Spotify. And then that triggered Spotify's algorithm. And I went from like 4,000 monthly listeners to 7,000 monthly listeners like that. And it was <laughs> like, oh my gosh, like it was crazy. So, so. I'll, I'm going to say this right here for anybody who's listening. It's actually not alarming. It's amazing to me when it comes to TikTok. It's the best platform I've seen in a long time in terms of converting people from TikTok to another platform. It's hard to get people to go from Instagram to YouTube, Instagram to Spotify, even if you're running an ad. Like people will go to your YouTube page from TikTok. They will go to your Instagram mm-hmm. from TikTok. They mm-hmm. will go to your, your Spotify, whatever. It's it's crazy. Yeah. It's, it's, it's your, a different space. It's directly there. You could put your Instagram, your YouTube. I honestly just put my Instagram because if you put your YouTube and Instagram, it just has the YouTube logo over it and people have to tap it. So I just put the Instagram. That's like my own thing just so people can go there. And, I'm, and also I'm not consistent on YouTube right now. I'm going to get back into it probably uh, really soon. So um but yeah, I just did that. And Spotify, I don't even have a link. People just went and searched me up. And people were commenting, like, what's his username? And it's like, oh, it's the same as his, his at. Like, just look at it. Like, they're all helping each other out to find my music. And like, we're going to help him out. That's how you yeah. yeah. it. It's a, it's a weird <laughs> space, man. And look. A, I, people are invested in TikTok. Yeah, like, especially fans. middle schoolers. Like, middle schoolers, they have not seen anything. Like, especially because all the millennials are hesitant, right? This is all yeah. Gen Z right now. So Gen Z's yeah. on there. And all the middle schoolers are just like, oh my gosh, this is talent. Like, da 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 da. I'm telling you, <laughs> like, <laughs> you could be yeah. pretty average and they'll still love it if you just got like semi talent, like, because it's like something new they haven't seen, honestly. But even with amazing talent, now it's like, oh, wow, like, I really haven't seen this, like, you know? So, mm-hmm. uh, and it's crazy, like, I, because I'm a sub, so I'm all over at different schools and uh, I didn't realize the, the TikTok clout till I got to um, one of the middle schools I sub at, because I usually do high school. And man, they were, <laughs> is that jail? Oh my gosh, jail, Mr. Jail, jail. <laughs> Literally, I thought it was just a one day thing. I've been at this school for like a long-term assignment, 20 days, every single day. I'm like, I'd be feeling like the man when I walk through. <laughs> like, <laughs> all these kids, Rich like, homie. all these kids just like running, like, can I get your autograph? Like, da, 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 that's da. hilarious. It's crazy. <laughs> That's hey, that's crazy. I believe you, though, man. Look, the, the high school is probably recognizing too, man. Yeah, but you I know, just, yeah, if they're I'm, too cool at that age, they, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. I might have a high school assignment after this, and I'll see how it is. But because I recently looked like cross platform, so that's really what like took me off. So, <laughs> what do you mean by that? When you say that, what happened? Oh, so uh, I posted a video of 
Uh, I did a funny little video like POV, you're the barber and I don't lose eye contact. So like someone. Oh yeah, I saw that one. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I did that and I honestly didn't expect it to blow up. I was just doing a trend. Everybody was doing POV at the time. So I was like, you know, let me think of some POVs. And that was one. And I, actually what I've done that's helped me, I literally go to my phone and write like when I come up with an idea, I write it down and just have a list of TikTok ideas. So anybody that wants to start, do that. At first it was slow. I only had like two ideas or maybe even one. But then you just start getting on a roll. You'll see stuff and think of something else. Like you'll see something and think of something else to do, you know? So um, yeah, so after I um, I had my list, I did that idea. That was the first video to go cross platform. Someone on Twitter shared my barber video. I don't even know her. Actually, and you said it was a girl on Twitter. You don't know how she found you. What'd you say again? Yeah, so this girl, um, uh, her name starts with C or I'm sorry, I, I should have added her. <laughs> I don't have her name, but yeah, she just randomly found me, I guess, on TikTok and th found it funny. And I don't think her following was that huge on uh, Twitter, but it was pretty like decently sized to get this thing kickstarted. She just decided to share it. I didn't even know. Like, I don't, I don't, I'm not active on Twitter. I do have a Twitter, but I'm not active at all. So, I mean, she didn't tag nobody or anything, but because in uh, TikTok's shareability, it puts your at at the end when they automatically share it. Like it's always watermarked. So you always get credit mm -hmm. in a way. Um, they can go around it and crop it. But yeah, so they she shared it on Twitter and it got 2 million views. And uh, I was starting to get hit, hit up by like people from years ago, like people I don't even know. Hey bro, I saw you on TikTok. Like, you know, people that are like, oh, you the fam, bro. Like, I'm like, bro, I haven't talked to you in <laughs> like seven <laughs> years, man. Like, and then, and then it was like, um, a huge Instagram page hit me up, uh, Funny Hood Vids, and they had 13 million followers. And they oh, were like, yeah, I know we, that one. Yeah, they were like, can we use this video? I was like, hell yeah. Like, like, like don't hesitate, go ahead. <laughs> so, then, um, so then they share it, and uh, that got another 2 million views, or maybe 2.5 million views on there. And a bunch of people started messaging me, even still like, oh, wow, like, that's crazy, bro. Like, you're, you're viral, you're viral. And then... So yeah, that happened on both platforms and the, the one on uh, TikTok itself was only at like 1.7 million or not only, but it was at 1.7. So I was like, wow, three <laughs> platforms. I'm like, like that was, that happened big, like crazy. I was already like three videos ahead past that. So it was just like, it was happening in the background. And then, um, yeah, I started getting recognized when I go hoop. <laughs> like all these uh, kids are like, See, now, now you know, don't, don't, older people know who you are. They're like, do the stare. Like, no. <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, yeah. Yeah. I mean, that's interesting though because once again, you start yeah. with a younger audience, mm -hmm. but then down that blows up and translates, and it starts yeah. to age back up again. Mm -hmm. And even when you look at the idea of your song and your music popping off on yeah. on um, Spotify, well, your your monthly listeners increasing, right? Yeah. That's eventually that effect might cause it to hit a certain playlist. Exactly. And then next thing you know, you start to get discovered by older people again. Exactly. Like that, you people have to really, mm -hmm. I think a lot of artists trouble and why they don't take advantage of a lot of opportunities is honestly, like I, I call it the school effect, right? That educated, that education system where you think I, if I click C and it's the right answer, then I yeah. get my immediate, A. Hey, here's your badge. Yeah. Right? You get an A, you get a B. It's mm -hmm. like, no, you can't just say, I do this one thing and then I yeah. get the result. You know, you yeah, gotta exactly. be able to give to the community, you know, and then once you get involved in the community, it will come back. You just have to be ready when it comes exactly. back. Exactly. The community wants comedy from me, so I'm just being funny all of a sudden. Like I was never posting any funny stuff until TikTok. Bro, never. No, <laughs> I know. I'm like, <laughs> I was like, what? I, and I, I know. I don't even know this side of you. <laughs> yeah, I knew I was funny. It's just like I just never posted anything about it. So I guess TikTok got to share my personality, which is actually a huge point because um. Mm. That video, that barber one was the first one that blew up. And one of my barber friends who's like, it's like all in the barber community. He's like, man, everybody's talking about this video. Like they all know you. And it was like, I've known you Dang. for years. He was actually the one that got me into singing. And he was like, man, I've known you Dang. for years. I was like, I've, I was on the, like said, like audition for this choir, you know? So um, uh, he asked like, man, I was wondering like, how do I blow up my, like my barber page and all that. And this goes for anybody. I'd say like, and that's why I learned in like PR and watching your videos, man, you got to sell your personality. Stop selling the product. Like you can't just sell tapers and fades. There's tapers and fades everywhere. 
Like <laughs> if I really need a cut, I'm going to go down the street and get a taper and fade. Yep. But if I buy into your personality, like, oh, this is PJ. This is his name, PJ Yates. This is PJ Yates cut. Like I'm going to go drive a mile away. Like, oh, this is by him. Like, oh, he's that funny dude. Or, oh, he's that singing barber or whatever he is. Like yep. I'm a golden, I'm a buy into people's personality. So people are like buying into my personality now. So they're like, oh, I like this guy. This That's, that's, a, that's my teacher. I'm going to go check out his music. Like, like, you know, like, like that's I was my sub, so, <laughs> so yeah, literally, yeah. Personality, a, you gotta sell your personality. That's a huge point, man. As much as a lot of people don't like it, yeah. right there, that personality thing is real, or some sort of unique vibe, or like you might not have to do it through your physical, your personal personality. There's other ways yeah. to create. There could be a mysterious like personality. Like, it could be any personality. Yeah. So. Yeah. Whatever it is but people have to have that attraction to it and the world is Mm -hmm. it's changing right where things used to be so distant people want to feel a lot closer to everything and these pages right these entities that we have is really more of a physical representation well a digital representation of us right it's like an avatar right a real live walking walking avatar and they want to feel that versus mm-hmm. necessarily seeing this huge superstar they just want to see mm-hmm. if they know you and this is how they mm-hmm. know you so and that's yeah, why man. i think celebrities aren't doing so well yet at least like all the yeah. celebrities that have opt on like their views are very like they're low i've had videos that are higher views than them and they have a lot of followers because people transfer easily because they know them but as far as the content that gets shared i don't think mm-hmm. they understand the shareability part yet or even like just the personal like most of the videos are just high schoolers being real like those are just like most of the videos that's it and like my most viral videos are just me being real too like other than that like the next one that went viral was um i guess i copied a trend i literally just did a trend a, tr- a trend that everybody does but i did it right i guess because mm-hmm. it was like this mirror effect where you have half your face and like i did it to where i didn't move so it looks like i'm one person and then i just like ate my finger and then like uh did this and like did the little I think, but like a couple people have done similar things, but I like took everything that I thought was funny in it and I did it right and that blew up. Like I was front page of Reddit, literally a couple of days ago, front page of Reddit, like third or ninth uh, video. Then I got uh, just shared. Actually, uh, this huge Instagram page just hit me up. They're probably about to share me in any second. Um, Nine gag. That's fifty one million uh, followers. Oh, yeah. Huge. yeah. They, they just DM'd me, like, can we use this? I was like, oh, yes, <laughs> please. <laughs> <laughs> it's so interesting that these people actually ask. Yeah. I'm not, yeah, I'm not, yeah. yeah. There's only been one page that had, like, two million that didn't ask. And I was just like, comment. actually, Reddit didn't even ask. Um, someone, my uncle, my cousin had to tell me because he's on Reddit. And he was like, yeah, you're on the front page of Reddit. So then I commented. I, I got opened my account, my old Dusty account. I opened it. It was like, let me comment real quick. And I just put a comment like, hey, this is me. Um, I didn't get the credit for this, but my Instagram is at JL. And then everybody started liking it, like, oh, he should have got credit. It was like TikTok. Oh, yeah. Like, it was a community. <laughs> like, it's all oh, they just. Bro, that's, that's. Yeah. I think that that analogy right there, yeah. it actually instantly changes the entire way I see TikTok because mm-hmm. I, I deeply already under I knew that TikTok is a community, but I deeply understand how Reddit works as a community. Yeah. and how they're serious about things they will support the hell out of something but yeah. they will also convict something <laughs> you know what i mean yeah. they'll, 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 you know crucify yeah. something really really quickly if it's mm-hmm. inauthentic right comes yeah. off fake or just trolling spamming and all those types exactly. of things exactly that right? and that's exactly what doesn't do well on uh, mm-hmm. tiktok if it's not authentic if it's like you're just rapping 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 like no, but if you're like, oh, I want to try something out, like, real quick, like, it's like, and it doesn't mean, like, you actually genuinely have to be, like, 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 oh, man. Uh, I mean, I've I've seen videos where people are, are acting, but, like, if you're acting good enough where it seems like you're just, like, this, like, timid, shy guy that's just doing it, like, it, it can work. But, like, yeah. it got to be authentic. It got to be real. Like, people buy into that. So, you can't, you can't, like, be fake, you know? So. Interesting. <laughs> I, I, I mean, I think just through natural conversation that you've already given so many tips, man. And, and it's crazy. Once again, I want to point out the fact that you've been shared across multiple platforms, multiple times, yeah. different videos, it sounds uh-huh. like. Right. And yeah. then right before we started, I'll probably like take that little clip and edit it, like play it right before the, uh, the yeah. uh, intro or something. But yeah. 
um, you mentioned the YouTube page because you didn't even talk about that during this. Interview. Yeah. Oh yeah. <laughs> so the was, YouTube page just hit you up. Right before we started, I was sending an email because um, a YouTube page literally just shared me right now. Um, it has six million uh, followers. Uh, Daily dose of internet. They just shared my video and they just asked me uh, about that. So I was just emailing them back and stuff. So yeah, <laughs> it goes cross platform. How I do share my music, I do do some singing videos and some trends in between on TikTok. So I do have those, and these people know I sing, and they're like, "Wow, you sing just as." as good as you're funny or whatever they say <laughs> like you know and um so i do slide videos in there but mm -hmm. i had sh i shared my personality is the one that's going viral and cross platform so uh, got you. you gotta be you gotta be seen so <laughs> that's dope so because i definitely have seen those videos and it's like when you sing you don't necessarily like sing an original song even sing a cover like yeah, they'll be I'll like sing the songs that are trending or covers yeah, yeah. <laughs> or it'll be like, but I've seen times, I swear it was one video where you probably only sang maybe for like three seconds, for, like maybe as a part of the comedy, where mm. once again, you were like, hey, let me show them I got a little bit of this. Yeah. Right. Like, this video is still about just serving the community versus, exactly. hey, check me out. You know what I mean? Exactly. Stop trying to flex on people. Like, <laughs> don't, they don't, don't they to. don't receive flexing, real. Actually, I just started helping, this, <laughs> I just started helping this girl who has a beast of a voice. She on the voice um uh and she's amazing of a singer sugar and uh um sugar jones that's her name so i literally just started helping her and i was like yeah don't flex on these people i know your voice is amazing like amazing like ariana grande beyonce like her voice is like top-notch voice i was like don't just come and flex on these people show them your personality show them who you are be natural like you're gonna kill it that way versus being like yo check me out man like you know like don't just like yeah. rip on on these dudes like, you like know, come like, down here yeah come down right. here like do the songs that are trending there like if you're going to cover that or do it in a different way do it in a funny way that makes you goes back to are people going to share this why and why would someone share this you got to put yourself in the shoes of a stranger seeing this like hey i just saw this video why would i share this and when you can do that when you can like put yourself in someone else's shoes to view your video then you'll understand how like the content works got you I was talking with another artist, as a matter of fact, uh, Trey Little, and he was like, um, his, what he started to do when he dropped his promo, or I don't even know if you would call it promo, right? But um, when he would show his music side, because he's a rapper, mm -hmm. he would do it 70 30, right? 70 serving the community and 30. Mm. Would you say that number is kind of. Yeah, that's about, pretty solid. Yeah, that's pretty yeah. solid, especially if you're consistent. Like, that's pretty pretty solid number like honestly like i'm not even at 30 but yeah definitely. i want to put more singing <laughs> stuff i'm just trying to like see like i want to see the way i can do it where it actually works because i could put mm -hmm. up a video and it does it doesn't matter how many followers you have like you can put up a video and it'll still dud at least for your like ratio like i've seen people with a million followers and get videos that only have two thousand views mm -hmm. or the, on the same page we'll have another video that got like a million views, four million or whatever. So it's like the video content has to be quality and then it'll get shared. So it's, it's crazy. It is a combination of all these apps together. It's like the YouTube quality works, like like watch time and quality part of that. And then it's like the Reddit community mixed with like the Instagram, like, like yeah, it's, it's, it's all like mixed together. And you just like, I use my knowledge of all that, all the other social medias to like knock this one off, so. Got you. Hey man, I, I actually want to talk about that. We'll actually talk about that after this interview. But I, yeah. I with that whole back and forth, right? The volatility yeah. of a lot of people's TikTok pages because something might completely take off in the next yeah. video, like you said. So you'll have like two hundred thousand, four thousand, mm -hmm. five hundred thousand, yeah. ten thousand, right? That yeah. whole thing. Mm -hmm. There's some ways. I feel like there's some small things that I think make the difference, but uh, between the people who are able to start yeah. to get to a point where it's consistent one number mm -hmm. um so you definitely have to talk about that because i think you're getting to that point and while i'm thinking about it though bro i hope i really hope your barber does a page because i feel like there's so many <laughs> yeah <there's> so, so <laughs> much there like so much comedy around that bro yeah, yeah like, so the funny thing um my barber is actually like he works in admissions at a school he's not like a barber barber but my <laughs> other friend is also a barber barber so i'm actually going to do a part two soon with my friend that's a barber and help him out and actually uh, okay. do it in a way that's not like too spammy not too advertising like mm -hmm. we're going to do it like we thought of just doing it where um my uh 
uh, what is it called? Cape that you have has this at on it. Like, you know, something casual. That's like, I'm not, I'm not like, Oh, go follow him. Like, you know, like you don't need to do it spammy. Like it doesn't work like that. It gotta be natural. So we're going to do a part two. I have a funny idea. I'm not going to tell y'all yet, but uh, <laughs> we're going to do a part two with uh, one of my barber friends helping get started. So, stuff but, like that. so if there were any things that you want to just say straight up that you feel like you didn't get a chance to mention in terms of, helpful tips things that you might have noticed mm. um what would you say they are for the artists that are watching uh quality content and consistent but not just consistent quality and consistency and by quality i mean like high definition if you got an android i'm sorry that just does not do well <laughs> but like <laughs> i'm sorry but like i mean if you do have an Android, there are ways around it. You got to roast yourself, honestly. Like, it's a heavily <laughs> iPhone community, and people roast Android users. Like, they will make, like, there's digital effects where you can make the video blurrier. So people will literally, like, do that and be like, oh, well, my girlfriend broke up with me because I have an Android. And, like, the video well, I'm going to just, <laughs> I'm going to go on TikTok after this, man, and I'm going to make an Android video roasting my, my droid. Exactly. <laughs> like, right. Exactly. Like, I'm that a, works. Like, that I'm stuff be droid, boy. <laughs> But um, yeah, so quality, um, my best tip is lighting. Lighting does very, very well. I've seen videos where uh, someone would do an idea and it's in dark lighting or lighting, bad lighting being any light that comes from the top is bad lighting. This is a little cinematography for you guys. So like right mm -hmm. now for me, this room is completely dark. All the lights are off. I'm just facing the window. That is one of the greatest lightings you can get across mm -hmm. the board black white yep. hispanic no matter what skin color <laughs> natural sink natural skin skin tone comes from the sun and then it's not a ring light ring light and everything behind you just being dark that's going to be your best thing to get some good quality lighting um because mm -hmm. i've seen videos like same idea one's dark one's light and the lighter one just goes off like because it looks better just yeah so that's actually way bigger of a tip than you guys might actually understand so i yeah. want you guys to take that tip seriously because trust me i've seen it yeah and it does make a huge difference that cover photo all that stuff really really matters even yeah. the difference like so if you guys even want to get a difference and understand what he means look at his screen and look at my screen right <laughs> my screen i have because i had to move into a different room I have a, a light above me and that's it. So yeah. then like my eyes are a little hooded. It's a little dark it creates, around it. It creates shadows. Right. Literally, it's so funny. Cause I'm like the most insecure people, the most insecure people will look a lot better in just like front lighting. Front lighting is always going to be the best. Like you can think you're ugly or like not pretty. It's, but it's earth's think, natural filter. <laughs> exactly. The shadows will make you uglier. Like shadows don't look good on me. Don't look good on most people. There's very few people that shadows look good on. <laughs> but yeah, front right. lighting gets rid of all those shadows it puts it behind your head and <laughs> but man hey where can people follow you obviously on tiktok but all platforms yeah so my uh youtube as well as at jo or jo that's me and i think that's my youtube.com slash jo that's me uh instagram is at jo tiktok is at jo my uh twitter is at jo that's me and yeah reddit i mean if you really care about reddit i'm dot jo but <laughs> yeah. Bet, bet, bet. Um, hey, and as as always, this video is brought to you by brandmannetwork.com because I signed myself and any of you artists who are not only interested in building your actual profile, but are also working on specific songs you like to try to push and go viral. Uh, I am working on campaigns for a select few artists. You gotta you guys gotta apply and the team will um determine if it's a TikTokable song. You can check mm -hmm. that out at brandmannetwork.com slash TikTok. Other than that, if you like this video, go ahead and like button. If you like it, you might as well share it. And if you're not subscribed, you know what, you know to, what do. to do. <laughs> <laughs> you know what to do. Hit that subscribe.